Everybody is wrong about Bitcoin right now, and there's so much FUD, so much fear, uncertainty, and doubt in the space. I've never seen anything like this where we have governments cracking down on major exchanges, on cryptocurrency, where we have banks, major global banks going under the world on the brink of complete economic collapse. We've got the Federal Reserve raising interest rates, yet simultaneously lending billions of dollars to banks and there's so much noise people don't know what's going to happen but there is one thing that we have as investors that can clear out all the noise and laser focus our vision on what is truly important and that is the chart the technicals on the chart will always precede the fundamentals and i'm going to be diving into the charts today showing you exactly where the price of bitcoin and crypto is heading so make sure to like the video make sure to subscribe to the channel make sure to click that bell for notifications because we are bringing you the juiciest and the most timely bitcoin updates here on youtube the chart is king the chart will always tell you what is going to happen before it happens. If there's going to be a news event that affects price, the chart will point to that in advance. Now, personally for me, I've been very bullish on Bitcoin since December, actually since November 15th. We're in the Casper Crew VIP Discord. We gave the long setup from $15,450. I've been bullish since giving the major swing long setup from $16,300 in the Casper Crew VIP Discord. And publicly on YouTube, since the beginning of January, I have been very bullish, pointing out that the charts right now are printing historic, rare, bullish signals. And people absolutely scoffed at me and I got a lot of negative comments saying, Jason, you're just a, a, a Bitcoin shill. You're just a scammer. Look, how have things played out since November, December, and January when I was making these videos? The chart speaks for itself, okay? From December, look at this. I mean, literally the beginning of January when I started being publicly bullish on YouTube. Look at this. Massive move to the upside. Why? Because the technicals were pointing to a major move to the upside. And of course, at the time, we didn't know what was going to be coming down the pike. We didn't know about any news that was coming in the future. We just had the charts. So let's go ahead and dive into the charts. And by the way, if you want to join the Casper Crew VIP Discord, where we do give these trade setups in advance. I mean, just the other day, literally, we gave two trade setups on Wednesday, a short and a long, and both of them have played out literally to the dollar. It's not a signals group. It's an education group. You will learn a lot about reading these charts and actually incorporating these things into your trading. Go to patreon.com forward slash Jason Casper to trade on Bybit with 0% limit fees. Check out the link in the description. Check out the link in the pinned comment. It's actually a really good deal uh, for people who want to be trading uh, without letting those fees cut into your profits. Okay, only do this if you know how to trade. So back into the charts, what are we seeing right now? Well, first of all, we are seeing a massive break in market structure. Now, market structure is 100% the king when it comes to determining the trend of an asset. What is market structure? It's is price making higher highs and higher lows or is price making lower highs and lower lows? If price is making lower lows and lower highs, that is a downtrend. Once price starts making higher lows and higher highs, that is officially an uptrend. And back in you know, January, we were finally starting to see the price make higher highs and higher lows, the first sign of a reversal. But what we're seeing now is confirmed bullish market structure on the weekly and the monthly time frame, two of the most important time frames that we have for Bitcoin. This white line right here is a market structure break on the weekly and monthly time frame. When we close a weekly candle above 25 to 11, that is a major indicator that the trend has officially flipped bullish. You can see we have our low, we have our high, our higher low, our higher high, our higher low, and our higher high. In addition to that, when we look at our indicator, market cipher B, we are seeing that in the bear market from the all-time high here, we started forming this downtrend on market cipher B where momentum was respecting this trend line. And now we have broken out of this trend line. We have a momentum wave coming out above it. In addition to that, the momentum waves very locally right here are getting higher as the price continues to consolidate. Not only that, the money flow on market cipher B is about to cross over to the blue from the purple. This is a very bullish indicator on the chart. And when we get those money flow crosses, it leads to much follow through. Look at what happened when we got the purple money flow cross on market cipher B back here in, um, I think this was around, 
This is this was around May or June of 2022. It led to another 50% move to the downside. Well, we're about to get a money flow crossover into the blue. Something else that we really need to be paying attention to right now is where we are in the four-year cycle. Okay, this cycle for the past three market cycles has been 100% respected. Where about one year, about 365 days, give or take a year to a year and a half before the halving. We come down and find support between the 786 and the 886 Fibonacci. At the same time, Market Cipher B is printing a bottom signal, a green dot below the zero line. And for the past two cycles, we've been printing a hidden bullish divergence as well on Market Cipher B. Now, we are currently finding ourselves exactly at the same exact Fibonacci support one year before the halving, and Market Cipher B is again printing a hidden bullish divergence, printing that bottom signal below the zero line. So all things right now are lining up to the fact that the bear market is over. And we are essentially at these places where historically, if we had been buying and accumulating Bitcoin, we would have been in the best position possible to ride it into the next bull market and make life changing money. And personally, and I, I speak from experience saying that for the past two cycles, I have actually experienced doing this, right? I purchased Bitcoin back in 2016, just before the halving, actually, um, when Bitcoin was around, it was around five or $600, right? And I got life-changing money on that way up. And then again, in 2019, 2020, I was stacking my crypto during all this time and made life-changing money again during the last bull market. Same thing is about to happen right now. Again, the, the technicals will always predict the fundamentals. And we're going to get into the fundamentals a little bit, but one more thing I do want to take a look at. Well, a few more things. We have this other indicator, the Traders Dynamic Index, which for the past three cycles has come down to the bottom, the lower Bollinger Band line, and the blue has crossed the purple. As we come down to the Fibonacci level, that is historically the bottom. We are seeing right now this same exact cross happening. The blue is crossing above the purple. As we touch the bottom white line, as we come down to our Fib levels, as Market Cipher B is printing that bottom signal, as we are seeing a change in market structure on the monthly time frame. All right, these are not bearish signals. So this is clearing out the noise. What's happening with the banks? What's happening with the Fed? What's happening with the government cracking down on crypto? We can't really know what these fundamental things are going to uh, end up playing out as. But what we can do is we can look at the charts and understand that, look, these charts historically have proven to be accurate signals. And nobody knew back here that the Fed was going to start insane amounts of quantitative easing after the VIDCO 91. And I'm using a co code word to avoid getting cracked down on by the YouTube algos. But nobody knew that in March 2020, we were going to see an ins a doubling of the amount of dollars in supply that was going to allow money to flow into crypto. But that's exactly what happened. The, the technicals a year in advance predicted the fundamentals. Is that not crazy? Let's take a look at the fear and greed index. Now people are starting to get greedy on crypto. And in the short term, yes, this might be a bad thing. In the short term, yes, this could lead to a pullback. We understand we're coming up to key areas of resistance. As many of you know, I, I am holding a short trade from the high we put in on Wednesday. Uh, and I'm looking to take shorts as we come up to the thirty to $32,000 area as well. However, and, and this is very important. Um, when we take a look at how this has played out over time, the fear and greed index is breaking out of a trend line that uh, we can see here. Actually, let me let me move my dang face so that we can see this a little better. The fear and greed index is breaking out of a trend line. We have not seen the fear and greed index this high since the all time high back in November of 2021. And just like we can look at market cipher B and see a, a change in trend, a change in sentiment overall in the macro markets, we're seeing the same thing with the fear and greed index. We have broken out of this two year trend line where people are becoming more and more fearful. We've broken out, we've retested it, and we've gotten a bounce, put in a higher high. Now, I understand this is not a technical indicator in the sense that we're not looking at price action. But what this is showing is that the sentiment right now that people have for Bitcoin, for crypto in general, is leaning much more bullish than it was for the past two years. And I think that plays a lot into the price action because we know that the price has moved by people buying and selling the asset, right? So these are very important times. And here's here's one thing I do want to say. In my opinion, and I've been saying this for a long time, been saying this since November, December, January, go back and watch my videos. I believe that the Fed 
is going to pivot again. Now, this I cannot say is a technical um, point that I'm about to make. Okay, it's more of a belief that I hold. But the Federal Reserve, in this fictional, I mean fractional reserve system that we have, there is only one tool in the toolbox, and that is printing more money, devaluing the currency. We can go back for the past 100 years and see that inflation has never come down. Okay, go talk to your parents, go talk to your grandparents. Yep, son, when I was your age, I used to take my nickel, go down to the corner store, buy my parents cup of coffee, cup of buttered rolls, and then I buy myself a couple candy bars, and it only cost a dang nickel, right? We can't do that today, right? Inflation will never go down, right? Ever since we, we went on to a fractional reserve uh, system, ever since we got off the gold standard, beginning in 1913, culminating in 1971, when, when Nixon really took us off the gold standard, there's only one tool in the toolbox, and that is print. The Fed is going to have to print. And what they're doing right now, where they're trying to continue to tighten by raising rates, but at the same time, they're loaning billions of dollars to banks, where essentially they're burning the candlestick from both ends. They're doing things that are trying to stop inflation, while at the same time, they're doing things that are going to cause inflation. And so as we're seeing the technicals and the fundamentals line up, showing us that there is a massive pump coming, a bull market coming, all right? I personally, and this is not financial advice, I personally am accumulating as much Bitcoin as possible and altcoins that I believe are really going to pump. Now, if you want to learn how to trade, if you want to learn how to take advantage of this volatility, longing and shorting these markets, because there's always potential, check out the course, jasoncaspertrading.com. This course will give you the knowledge and the skills you need to become a confident, profitable trader. And it will give you that step-by-step -step process so that you're not gambling away your money, but you're actually doing this in a mathematically sound way so that you're not blowing all your money in one or two trades so that even if you take multiple losses you can still be profitable over time so you can come to a chart and have a clearly defined plan like this one and then know when to pull the trigger so that's it for today's video may god bless you all in the name of jesus the messiah i pray everybody is very very blessed and i will see you all in the next video peace